Hey guys, Space Marine 658 here. Today we're going to be talking about Slate, how to use it, what is it useful for, so on and so forth. So to kick us off, we're going to kind of talk about Slate for here a minute. You'll see the chapters down below if you want to skip ahead. Slate is what Unreal Engine is built on. Uh, all of the editor utilities, everything inside of the engine is built on top of Slate. And that includes UMG. With that being said, that means that there's also a lot of things you can do inside of Slate that aren't necessarily as easy or the same in UMG. Now, that's not to say you can't, but there's a lot more tools open to you. Slate tends to be more um, useful, especially for things where you're wanting to show off debugging screens, uh, things that you wouldn't normally show with a fancy pretty UI using something like UMG, um, but they might be more useful to you as a developer or to uh, players doing more advanced things. So let's go ahead and look at how we can create one of these. First, we're going to go ahead and uh, create a new C++ class. And what we'll do is we'll do our trusty old blueprint uh, function library. Now, um, there are a handful of um, ways you can do this, but I like to use a blueprint function library uh, just because it's just a really easy way to wrap all of your slate widgets in one place. And we'll just call this our slate widget helper. And let's go ahead and create the class. And let's go back here. And once it's done adding the code to the project, we'll go ahead and close this. All right, there we go, it is done. So we'll go ahead and close this all down. Um, now this should already be there, but just in case it's not, you want to make sure to um, go to your build file. So it'll be usually under uh, the name of your project.build.cs. And you wanna make sure you've got Slate and Slate Core. Now it should have that by default, but if it doesn't, you'll wanna make sure that's there. Uh, then we'll go ahead and go back to our blueprint function library here for the slate widget helper. And we need to add a couple of things. Uh, one of the things we're gonna need to add is an include uh, here at the top. Let me make sure I grab the right include here. Yep. All right. So we're gonna wanna make sure we're going to include is widgets forward slash S window. Uh, now, depending on, of course, what um you are using uh, from slate there might be other things you want to include as well or uh, you may want to include a different file uh, but just for now this is uh, what we're going to want to include and we'll go ahead and uh, we will just add a public public u function And this is going to be blueprint callable. Static void, because of course we're not going to return anything. And we'll just call this um, yeah, show slate. Right. Um, for anyone who likes to see these kind of things in a um, written way, um, here's a link to a tutorial on the Epic website. Uh, that basically is covering the same things. Um, I'm just doing this in a visual way so I can talk about it a little bit um, more in detail. I believe the tutorial was created by a gentleman, uh, the original tutorial that is based off of uh, called Vintage Developer back in November. Uh, so we're taking that and using that here as sort of the basis for this tutorial. So we've got our function here, show slate. Uh, so what we need to do is a couple of things. We need to instantiate a VBox, and then we also need to um, actually add some things to that um, so that we can then add these to a display and show these off, right? So first thing we need to do is get a T-shared ref of an S vertical box. And we'll just go and call this uh, current window and it's going to be a S new and we'll talk about what some of this stuff means here once we actually have them in vertical box 
right, here we go. So, um, actually we don't need the that there. So what we're doing here is we're creating a ref to a vertical box and we're calling it current window and then we're setting it equal to a new vertical box. So this is instantiating a vertical box. Now with that, we need to also add a slot to the vertical box. So we do a, a plus S vertical box and then double double slot. And what this is going to do is now, as you notice, this doesn't quite look quite like what you'd expect with something like C++. Uh, and that is just the nature of how Slate works is it is a little different from it. It's the same, but also different from C++ in the, a lot of the macros that Epic has built into Slate um, can look very jarring um, when it comes to um, how they look compared to what you'd expect. You know, normally you'd set it to S new and then you'd end it here uh, with an end line and then you'd maybe go do stuff to current window later on. Um, but we're going to want to set this all up here as we're constructing it. And then we got to do a, another plus vertical box. And this will also be a slot. And what we're going to do is drop in here. S new. And we're going to add a text block. So this text block is going to uh, allow us to add some text here. So in this example, right, we're going to do dot text. It's going to be of type F text uh, from string because it makes it easier to write out. Uh, you can also just do, I believe, um, the capital text, um, but either way it works. And we'll, we'll do this as an example of what Slate can do. And there we go. So we've got all of that. Now see, we don't add an end line to the S news here, and, but at the very end with the last bracket, then we add one. Now that we've got it, now we need to actually instantiate a slate window. So we basically are going to do the same things we did above with the T shared ref S window. And we'll just give it window equals S new window, or sorry, S window. Yeah, mo as you can see, most of the classes for Slate uh, all start with S, which makes sense. And then we need to make sure that we're setting the contents of window to our new instantiated object here, uh, which we called current window. We're setting window to current window. And then um lastly we need to basically if you're used to umg this is the equivalent of um adding it to the screen uh we're basically doing getting the f state slate application um uh, and saying get which as you can see if you hover over it here this is going to uh, return the current instance of the application I'll just say, hey, what's our Slate application currently? And add window to that. Now, the nice thing is with this, um, as you can see, something you maybe some of you have already picked up on is by creating this separate window, when we spawn this in the world, we can use this to add uh, like logging to, or we can use it to add uh, extra text to, or images to. Uh, so it's going to give us a lot of uh, things we can do with this. So now that we've gotten that all up and running, um, let's go ahead and just load this up in our project. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, when we spawn into the world, we're going to have it just up here um, there inside of our current existing UI.
All right. Um, now, there's a few different ways we can do this. Um, I think the simplest way um, would be to um, just go ahead and go into our player's HUD. Um, and we'll go ahead and just add this to that. Oh, wrong section. We'll go ahead and just add that to the uh, HUD. So what we'll do um, is we'll just call a, uh, I believe, actually we have a construct. Yeah, so here at the very beginning, uh, construct, we can just do um, our show slate. Now, of course, um, this is just the bare minimum to get this thing running. So let's go ahead and start. And we'll need to then load up a level. All right, um, now it might have been hard to see there for a second, but there was a window, and as you can kind of see, if we actually tab out, um, there is a window there. Now, we haven't set up anything in terms of its size or anything, so it starts out like kind of hidden and tucked away. But you can see that V box now has the image at the top and then the text there at the bottom. Um, now, of course, we can go ahead and add other things. Uh, we can do what we want and this is a slate window like we were talking about earlier part of the editor so it's actually not inside of the level so the handy thing with that is is let's say we want to use this to log very specific things that we don't want to you know use the current output log for um, we could have this you know running and then pop it over into our side window and the game will still just keep running we don't need to worry about you know dragging things around it's just right there on the right hand side uh, which of course you all got, guys can't see, but it, yeah. this is just an example. Um, but yeah, so this is the very basics of just getting Slate up and running. We're going to cover more uh, things you can do within Slate, doing things like, for example, here, you know, I'm calling to an external API to set the Discord status using um, some stuff there. So we could we might cover something like that. There's taking in-game screenshots, uh, setting different FPS targets, um, there's a lot of things you can do uh, with Slate that I think are going to be very handy. Because as you're building your game, you know, you want to make sure you're building tools. Uh, so when you're doing things over and over, you're not uh, wasting time and effort remaking the same thing you've already built before. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. Uh, we'll cover more in the upcoming uh, weeks. But let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see inside of Slate. But otherwise, good luck and good hunting.